So I'm Dr. Rita McGuire, and I am the Chief Medical Advisor uh, for Wakana for Life. So tonight we're going to talk CBD oil dosage. We're going to talk about each one of our products. We're going to really dissect um, really how you help your customer, your consumer, uh, really start the product and how it got to them and how we can talk about all sorts of different methods of consuming CBD. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist, truly have been using CBD oils and products in my practice for the last two years, uh, and really have seen a dramatic decrease in patients in uh, really having that freedom to come off a lot of medication uh, that they're on. So we'll start out with our disclaimer. These statements have not been approved by the FDA. Our products should not be used to treat, cure, prevent, or diagnose your condition. If you're nursing, pregnant, on medication, or under a doctor's care, always consult with your physician prior to consuming any nutritional supplement. So the first question is, how much CBD oil should I take? I got about five or six calls today, really helping uh, our sales affiliates to figure out which dosage they uh, really recommend for their clients. Rule number one, there really is no one size fit all when it comes to determining the right CBD dosage. The effective dose for each person truly is different based on your body chemistry, the severity of concern, your weight, the concentration of the product, et cetera. So one or two drops may be effective for me, but for someone like Tracy Bolt, she may need several drops of the same product. Rule number two, I always start my patients low and I start them slow. That means that I gradually increase the dosage over time until I get the desired result for that person. So patience truly is the key. While some people get results immediately, most report not seeing results for weeks or even months. So this presentation will guide you on how to start and find your personal, what we call sweet spot dosage. But know that it will likely take some time and patience and really experimenting with the dosage until you find the best one for you. So what are the steps to finding your sweet spot? Well, first you need to decide how you want to take your CBD. There's different ways of consuming CBD. One way is using a CBD oil drop that you place under your tongue and allow that oil to absorb directly into your bloodstream. This really is the most popular way that people take CBD. Another way is vaping. It's the second most popular way of consuming CBD. It's really preferred by those who are really looking for a quick relief from anxiety, panic attacks, and even migraines. Other popular methods include oral capsules, gummies, topicals, and transdermals. Those are what are typically applied to the skin. So the next slide shows the importance of placing the oil underneath the tongue and the floor of the mouth so it can be absorbed in the bloodstream. It's important to hold the oil for 60 seconds. So by the time you swallow, there should be little oil left because it is already consumed. Absorbed. Another very popular method is topical. The fact that Wakana have a topical cream called Power Relief, and it contains CBD 0.3% of THC. It contains other essential oils like eucalyptus, 
cinnamon, peppermint, spearmint seed, um, and mint oil. It's an amazing product. It just needs a little to place on the area of relief. I work that every day, and I tell you, today I think I opened and my biceps were so sore. I used just a little bit of our top cream on my bicep muscles, and I'm telling you, within 25, the relief from that muscle pain was all better. So you just need a little. Our relief is 200 milligrams in a 15 ml jar, and it was a great relief to know that you don't have to take Motrin or Aleve or Tylenol or any over-the-counter pain medications to alleviate your pain when you can use a topical. Consider how the chosen delivery method impacts the dosage. Well, the way that we talk about that is the word bio. Bioavailability refers to the actual amount of CBD that gets into your bloodstream. It's estimated that about 20 to 30 uh, percent of CBD gets into the bloodstream when you use the drops. It's estimated that about 30 to 40 percent is in the bloodstream when you vape. About 5% if you eat a gummy, and about 98.7% when you talk about our nanotechnology. So for example, consuming 25 milligrams of CBD in a sublingual drop, that means you place it underneath your tongue, is about four to six times the amount of CBD when you use it. So, or a gum, a five milligram. Now, no matter what method you choose, important to understand if it's very low dose, a very high, it won't give you the best chance of success. Meaning, if the dose is too low, you're not going to feel any effects at all. And if the dose is too high, which I see a lot of people using too high of a dose, then you may experience some undesirable results, nausea, or even a general worsening of the symptoms that you are trying to abate. So it's really important to figure out what that sweet spot is. So the recommendation to get to the optimal dose, so the recommendation that I always use in my practice is Start low and start slow. What you want to do is you want to end up on the left half of the bell curve that you see in this picture. You want to start low and start slow until you find that optimal dose. You can also expect to need to make adjustments over time to remain in that optimal range. This is why experimentation is key. So now let's discuss some different methods that we use to find that optimal dose by each delivery method. So we'll talk about the tincture that is placing the drops underneath the tongue. So there's no right way to determine that optimal dose, but here are a few methods that I use that really help people to be successful. We're going to talk about microdosing. This is a great chart that I'm going to put on Wakana for Life Facebook page. This is a uh, chart that you can use. Uh, you can chart when you took the dose. You can chart the product you use. You can chart the amount or how many drops you use. And then on a scale of 1 to 10, you can, um, 10 being the worst severity of pain that you're trying to alleviate. And then you can uh, then Chart the relief level, so what is your pain or severity after the dose, and then you can chart the time you achieve that relief. So this is a great microdosing chart that you can use if you want to microdose. The other way of finding your sweet spot is decide on the number of milligrams of CBD you want to take. And there's a great chart that you can use 
And this chart is based on the severity of the condition and the size of the person. So you can look at your weight, let's say you're 160 pounds and the severity of arthritis is pretty severe. So that would put you at 27 milligrams a day of CBD. So once you've determined that target dose, then you gotta figure out how many drops that is to get to that dosage. So we're gonna talk about how many milligrams each drop is in our product. Again, I recommend starting low and starting slow. If you are new to CBD, you wanna start about half of the suggested dose and then slowly increase until you get to that recommended dose every three to four days. So the right dosage, again, is different by person and product. We all metabolize CBD very differently, but this is a chart that you can use if you wanna use a target serving size. The other way to find the sweet spot is actually following the instructions on our bottle. You can use um, our suggested recommendation. Uh, let's look at our Wakana powered by Hempranium. This is our product that is 500 milligrams. Uh, each drop is 1.67 milligrams. So if you're looking at the chart and you're trying to figure out how many drops it would take to get to 27 milligrams, well, you know that each drop is 1.67 milligrams. So you can do the math on that. This product contains 0.3% of or less of THC. It is also uh, infused or we add peppermint, turmeric, and it's a uh, black seed and it's in a carrier oil of MCT coconut. As you can see on the bottle, we recommend for mild conditions, six drops a day, for moderate conditions, 15 drops a day, or 30 or severe conditions, 30 drops a day. So when you do the math, 30 drops a day will give you about 50 milligrams of CBD. Great about our endocannabinoid system is that we really don't need a lot of CBD. That's why I love microdosing. I love starting low and starting slow because more is not better. Now, our Wakana power, our black power, or our tincture, or our baking, this is a product that is great because it is dual usage. You can use it as a tincture, meaning you can put it underneath your tongue, or you can bake with it. This product is 500 milligrams. It comes in a 15 ml bottle. Again, each drop is 1.67 milligrams. So you can do the math and figure out how many drops are good for you, or you can follow the recommended dosage on the bottle, which is for mild conditions, six drops a day, for moderate conditions, 15 drops a day, and for severe conditions, 30 drops a day. This particular product is great for those people who don't like any flavor in their CBD oil. That's why it only contains the CBD with 0.3% or less of THC and the carrier oil. It's great for baking because it doesn't have those extra flavors and ingredients. The next product is our Wakana Power. Again, this is a water-soluble product. And what that means is that the product, the oil, is converted so that more bioavailable as it has to not go through that first pass effect. So it doesn't have to go through the stomach. It doesn't have to be metabolized to the liver in order to hit the bloodstream. The water soluble is a product that you can use orally. You can place it in your water or your food 
and it becomes bioavailable to the bloodstream very easily because of the conversion of the oil to a water-soluble particle. Each drop, again, still is 1.67 milligrams per drop so that you can figure out if you want 27 milligrams that we showed in that example on a 160-pound person, you can figure out the math on how much you have to add to water, to food, to mocktail for someone who has a severe condition and is 160 pounds. Now, our Wakana Nano Hempranium is going to be coming very soon. It will be available, but this is a product that is a nanotechnology, which means that the CBD molecule is, again, made more water soluble, so it's more bioavailable to the cell. It's 98.7% bioavailable to the cell. So you're talking about a product that truly is more available, so it's going to be um, definitely a product that is used for someone who, one, does not want the THC, our nano removes the THC. Two, it's a product that has the additional essential oils like black sea, peppermint, and turmeric that address inflammation. And three, it's a great product for those who undergo random drug screens and don't THC in the product. This product, again, can be used by following the recommended dosage on the bottle. The recommended dosing is for mild conditions, six drops a day, for moderate conditions, 15 drops a day, and for severe conditions, 30 drops a day. Now, I recommend that you divide the dosage in an AM and a PM dosing schedule. So if it's six drops a day, then you should do three drops in the morning and three drops in the evening. Again, this product will be coming soon. It is a 300 milligram concentration in both a 5 ml and a 15 ml bottle, which equates to one milligram per drop. We see again our Wakana Pure Water Soluble. This is an amazing product. Our water soluble product is 2,200 milligrams in a 15 ml bottle and 650 milligrams in a 5 ml bottle. That equates to 7.4 milligrams per drop. Again, depending on the severity, depending on the weight, you can either target specific, you can use the recommended dosage on the bottle, or you can microdose it. You can use just a little, one drop, wait 45 minutes. If the desired result is not uh, apparent, then you can add another drop. But definitely with the Wakana Pure Water Soluble, you just need one or two drops that you can place in your beverages, your food, and what I love about water-soluble products, you can use them orally. That means that you don't have to place it underneath your tongue like a tincture. Let's talk about a different method delivery of vaping. Vaping is very, very popular. Uh, getting the right dose when vaping, though, is harder than using it underneath the tongue. Uh, vaping is different. You take maybe one maybe two hits at a time, and then wait a few minutes. If you haven't gotten the release that you want, then you can take another one or two hits until you do. So vaping is great, again, because it addresses acute issues, acute pain, acute anxiety, acute migraine, whatever it is, 
vaping's onset of action is within 30 to 60 seconds. Our vapes are 200 milligrams. They're a half ML cartridge. The about our cartridges is that they are sealed, so you can't add anything to them. The physics of the coils are specific. They're specifically um, structured for our oil, so we don't want you to add anything. We're offering power vapes that contain 0.3% or less of THC, and our pure vapes that contain 0.0% THC. Again, one to two puffs is really all you need. I would wait 30, 45 minutes. Uh, until you take another one or two uh, two puffs uh, to uh, make sure that you know you don't overdo it. The other methods of delivery are gummies. We offer our gummies, and gummies, as I mentioned early, the earlier the bioavailability is much lower than vaping or using the tincture. But on the bright side, you don't have to figure out how many milligrams you're consuming, right? You know exactly from the package that our gummies are 25 milligrams. Um, it's really important to know that when you're consuming gummies or capsules or anything that's uh, consumed orally that is not water soluble, it's gonna take about 45 minutes to an hour and sometimes 90 minutes to see an effect from a gummy. So. Start low, start slow, take one gummy. We have gummies that contain 0.0% THC. Uh, the entire package, you'll get four in the four package. Our gummies are vegan, which I love. They don't have the extra sugar and all those toxic chemicals that you see in other gummies. They come in different flavors and they're very, very affordable. Our power gummies, again, on the packages, it's labeled 25 milligrams. Uh, the THC is one milligram, again, under the 0.3% THC. Our power gummies are full spectrum. Again, use one gummy at a time. I would wait with these power gummies. The testimonies that we're getting from the power gummies are amazing. They're improving libido, they're improving pain, and they're really allowing people who have insomnia to sleep. So again, this is uh, really our lineup. I think what's missing in this picture is our, car our vape cartridges. <clears throat> but our power line, again, you see our water soluble that is powered by hempranium our power culinary oil, and then we have our Wakana pure water soluble, our Wakana pure hempranium, which is coming soon, our power relief topical cream, which is amazing. When I tell you that my biceps were on fire this morning and just a little bit of that cream has taken that uh, bicep strain away, we will also be uh, offering the 20 count gummies in our power and our pure, as well as our half ML vape cartridge. So that is the end of my presentation. I'm gonna open the line up uh, for questions. Hi, first of all, I wanna say congratulations to all of you. I think this is awesome, um, late to the game. Um, um, I am a uh, physical therapist. I've been a physical therapist for 20 years, and I'm also a home care provider for therapy and a director of rehab. So I am very interested in the product and getting to um, learn how to become certified and all that stuff. So I just didn't know where I needed to start on that and then how to go about okay. kind of getting some of the products as well so that I know what I'm selling, <laughs> what I'm talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely. So we are excited because here at Wakana, we really value education. You know, education yeah. is key. Um, yeah. I recommend that you uh, get back with the person who invited you to uh, our group 
Uh, okay. You get your part of it. I recommend that you come in with a full dispensary because a full okay. dispensary will allow you to have the certification. In fact, you'll get two certifications for a lot you can use and you can share with someone else. You'll get a okay. full design of our product. And then you can immediately, as soon as you purchase that full dispensary, you can uh, do the certification that we just completed last weekend. You can take okay. the exam, you can get your certificate, you will then be able to really honestly feel comfortable about using and sharing the products with your family and your patients. Um, and I think it's just a great program because so many companies that offer CBD oil don't offer the education. And exactly. the education yeah. is key because what you'll find is that you'll find people that you'll run into and they'll say, that CBD doesn't work. Well, it's probably yeah. because they didn't get the right dosage. They were probably mm -hmm. way too low and they didn't get the effects it's for. So truly okay. it is an experimental thing uh, that you have to find that sweet spot. And in my practice, I start patients low and I start mm -hmm. low because you don't want someone to start too high and they're like, oh my God, this is horrible. I have right. a <laughs> I'm nauseated. I feel horrible. You know, right. you want to make sure that they start low and start slow so that you can get an amazing result for that person that they're looking for. And then there's so many options now that we have this water soluble. I mean, mm -hmm. there are people who honestly don't like putting things underneath their tongue. Mm -hmm. no yeah. problem. Put it in your food, put it in your water. Again, use the dosing chart or you okay. can use recommended dosing on the bottle or you can do micro dosing. So there's so many ways that you can do the dosing. Let's not okay. complicate this, guys. Don't make it complicated. Right. It's not hard. Use one or two drops at a time, and you can increase that over three to four days, or you can simply follow the directions on the bottle, okay? okay. If it is okay. something that is in the 80s, we're talking about our elderly, don't start right. them out with 30 drops a day. That's way <laughs> too much, okay? Yeah. Start them off slow, start them off low. So we are excited to have you. The more you're educated about the product, the more you'll feel comfortable. And guess what? Your mm -hmm. clients will really appreciate that, that you have taken that extra time to understand how this product works how the dosing is formulated, and really okay. they would appreciate that. And that's what sets us apart from all other companies that are out there. We yeah. really value education. We're serious about empowering each and every one of you about how to use this product effectively. Well, congratulations again, and I am definitely going to do this and um, try to get started as soon as I can. And I look forward to hearing from you ladies again. And just thanks for doing the work. You know, I appreciate it. And let's go for it. Let's go let's for go. it. Let's, let's do this. Let's go. Yes. Let's do this. Let's yes. If there's any other questions, you can unmute yourself. Hello. Hi, Lala. How are you? Is that Lala? Yes, it is. Okay. How are you? Hi, what kind of nation? Okay, so I do have a question in regards to using multiple products at the same time. So like if somebody is using the cream, the um the, the pain really topical and they are using the tincture. Is that too much? The other thing I wanted to ask is about taking the product on a plane. Okay. So let's address the first question. The first question is using multiple products. The great thing about the topical 
is that the topical is a power product. That means it contains 0.3% or less of THC. Um, when you use topical products, they don't pass the blood-brain barrier, meaning that they are not uh, able to pass into the brain. So with the topical, what you're getting is topically, just that, to that area of concentration. For example, I overdid it with the weight, and so my biceps are really sore today. So I use the topical cream, as well as I use the water soluble in my, in my bottled water today. Um, what you're doing is you're getting the uh, relief in the area that is causing pain, inflammation, as well as when you use a water soluble or tincture, which is absolutely fine to do both at the same time, you're getting the product in the bloodstream, which is different from using the product and getting the product topically on an area that is uh, affected with a uh, pain that you need relief from. So using the topical with the tincture or water soluble is absolutely fine. It's not too much. Using topically doesn't pass the blood brain barrier. So you're actually local relief that you need on any part of your body that you're looking for relief from. You can even use the tincture underneath your tongue and the water soluble. You may be in an area where you are uh, at lunch or at a dinner and you want to add it to your food and that's perfectly fine. Each drop is 1.67 milligrams or if you're using the nano water soluble, that's 7.4 milligrams. And what's so good about really remembering 1.67 versus 7.4 is that you can actually calculate the total dosage that you're looking to consume in one day, okay? So if you're looking to consume, let's say 25 milligrams of a daily dose, then you know that maybe two drops of that 7.4, you're already at 14, and several more drops of the 1.67 will get you to 25 milligrams. So to dose out how many milligrams you want on a daily dose, you can actually target the amount based on that chart that I shared with you, that chart that has the severity of the medical condition and it has the person's weight. You can actually go to that chart and say, you know what? I've got severe pain, I'm 160 pounds, 27 milligrams is what I need on a daily dose. Now, the second part is carrying it on a plane. So carrying it on a plane, you wanna make sure that um, you are using uh, the protocol of TSA, making sure that it's in a Ziploc bag or whatever you need to have it in these days or in containers. Um, the gummies, again, you can put up back. I've been to uh, Africa, Bermuda, Bahamas, Jamaica, uh, pretty much in all 50 states and I've traveled uh, with no issues with my product. I would definitely check some of the laws with TSA and ensure that you don't have too many liquids when you're doing it through a carry-on versus packing it in your uh, suitcase. Uh, I think there was something on the news where a grandma was arrested or something in Disney World. Um, so, you know, there's still very unclear laws in some states, but in 2018, Trump signed that hemp is legal in all 50 states. So I would definitely make sure that you're following the protocol. 
contact uh, with your liquid. And if you are, again, uh, using the other edibles, like the gummies, I would make sure that, you know, everything is in Ziploc bags if you're doing carry-on. And then if you are, you know, uh, checking those bags that you just pack as usual. Did okay. I ask you a question, Lala? Yes. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Okay, I have one more. What? How would you discuss uh, the vape cartridge with a person who is a consistent marijuana smoker, and they they may be confused, or they they they're looking for the vape cartridge to be like a supplement? I had that situation, so I'm just curious. Um. So you have a person that is using THC and they're smoking it, and right. they're wanting to use our cartridge for daily consumption. For their enjoyment. <laughs> okay. So a person that is smoking THC. Um, is definitely going to get a totally different experience when they use our vape pen. Our vape pens don't have the amount of THC that is found in products that are um, THC. So THC or marijuana strain will give you a percentage between 10, uh, upwards of 10% or more of THC. Our product has 0.3%. 0.3%, right? Very low negligible amount. So what they're going to experience is all the benefits of CBD without the high. So they're going to be calm. They're going to be anxiety-free. They're going to be mellow. They're going to have reduction in pain and inflammation. They're going to get a great night's sleep but without the high. So I have seen in my experience, people who have smoked marijuana for years, when they start using CBD products, their cravings are there for THC diminishes. Why? Because CBD is an antagonist to THC. It actually blocks the uh, THC euphoria and it gives that person all of the benefits that CBD has, anti-inflammatory, anti-anxiety, um, analgesia, you know, helping with the uh, mood, helping with sleep, uh, all the receptors that we talk about that the endocannabinoid system has, they're gonna see that. But it definitely will block their high a lot of THC users will come to you and buy CBD because a lot of THC users use CBD to block their high or to bring their high down. So if they take too much of their THC, they actually use our product to bring them down. So it's a great um, marketing tool for those who are THC users, right? They use our CBD to really bring that THC effect way down when they take too much. Does that answer your question? Oh, okay, yeah. I was saying, great, that that really makes a lot of sense. I did tell him the other day that you really should be calm because he said he was really trying to get high and he uh, used the entire cartridge. And so yeah, you, you won't get high. You won't get that's high. That's what I told him. Yeah. That's what I told them. I said, but you should be real nice and calm right now. Right. You should be real nice and calm. <laughs> if somebody if somebody is buying our products to get high, then then they're 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 at the wrong place. So uh, if someone is wanting relief of inflammation and pain and anxiety and insomnia and and all the uh, other conditions that we see CBD assist with, glaucoma, uh, psoriasis, uh, kidney, liver, lung, 
uh, teeth, uh, seizure disorder, convulsion, that long list of conditions that we know CBD assists with, they're, they're in the right place. So if they're trying to get high, then they need to, uh, you know, go elsewhere. You will not get high on our product. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that, that's what I call them. Uh, <laughs> since you just went down the laundry list, I have another question in terms of branding and advertisement and promoting uh, in our variation of ways that we're able to. Is it best to not, like you just named the list, of areas that CBD is known to be a, a, a resource and a comfort, is it best to not get into naming them? Because I've been very general with how I've been explaining. It's, it's good to be general, and it's always good to remind people that you cannot um, diagnose, um, make any claims of cure. Uh, all you can do is share with them um, the research that is easily accessible on the on the Google or any of your favorite search engines. And you can also, you know, share with them if you have a personal story or if you have a story of someone that is near and dear to you that has gotten relief from the product. But absolutely, the FDA does not allow us any claims um, to diagnose you know, you are not on the line. You know, I'm a physician, but I'm not anyone in Wakana's doctor. So you can't call me and use me as a person's physician. I'm not their physician. We recommend that if patients and clients and consumers are on multiple medications, if they're under a doctor's care, they really should let their physician know that they want to start using this oil. And they can go to their physician with our brochures. They can go to their physician with articles. I know there is one uh, sales affiliate I spoke to today in Texas, and I actually helped her client get some articles that when she sees her physician this week, that she can take her physician's articles. Because most physicians have never had any experience with CBD. A lot of them have never heard of CBD. And quite honestly, a lot of them are closed-minded. So you have to go with them with information that is a lot of it's anecdotal, but there's over 22,000 peer review articles on CBD. There's a lot of information out there. And they just have to be willing and open-minded that, you know, you want to try something that is safe, that is organic, that will assist you in getting off of so many medications, and quite honestly, something that's going to finally work to address your pain and inflammation or any other conditions that you, you're looking for this oil to help you with. So it's all about education. It's all about really being uh, empowered with this information so you can take it to your physician or healthcare professional. And you just have to pray that your physician is someone like I was. Two years ago, I never heard of CBD. And instead of telling Melissa Boston, absolutely no, I went and did my due diligence. I did my research. And when I did that and found out all of the medicinal properties that CBD had, I was sold. And so uh, that's what I recommend that we do. And we continue to help people get on the other side of knowledge. You know, invite your physician on a call, on a Wednesday night call. Invite your physician to engage. Um, that's what my my recommendation is. Any other questions before we close it out? Well, great. If there's no other question, uh, I would invite all of you to seriously get back with the person that invited you, whoever invited you tonight. I would hang up and call them immediately. 
uh, order products, order your full dispensary, uh, order your personal dispensary. By ordering a micro dispensary, it's a great way to get uh, a percentage uh, in, um, in, in a discount versus buying it retail, buying it in a larger amount as a full dispensary or a personal dispensary, you definitely get more bang for your buck. With the full dispensary, you get the education through Wakana University. You get an uh, opportunity to uh, not only use the products personally, but share and to sell the products to others. I want to thank you again for your patience. But if you have any questions, you can email me at drritamack at yahoo.com. That's D-R, D is in David, R is in red. Then my first name, Rita, R-I-T-A, M is in Mary, A is in Apple, C is in Cat at yahoo.com. Of course, whoever invited you on this call is going to get you plugged in on our Facebook page, Wakana for Life. They're going to get you plugged into all of our calls, all of our meetings, as well as our local meeting, which is every Thursday at 7 p.m. at 10615 South Hofstede in Chicago, and every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. again, 10615 South Hofstede in Chicago. So have an amazing rest of your night. Have an amazing night. Good night. And we will see each and every one of you soon. Don't forget to hang up and to call the person who invited you so we can get you started. And welcome to Wakana Nation.